It's time to focus on the things you need, the things you deserve. You deserve a healthy body. Supplements that get you moving and keep you moving. That make you feel good, look good, do good. And they shouldn't contain GMOs, artificial ingredients, or heavy metals, ever. Supplements that are clinically studied, use proven absorption technologies, are designed by scientists, and are ethically sourced and produced. Supplements with everything you need, nothing you don't. You deserve a company that you can trust, that's dedicated to safe manufacturing practices and third-party testing, that ensures the highest quality of effectiveness from extraction of ingredients all the way to the composition of the packaging. Wait a second. You deserve to see the process. led by a CEO with a deep belief in the power of people, dedicated to inspiring entrepreneurs to achieve success. A company with a phytonutrient chemist and expert on natural molecules who is obsessed with human health and has your best interest in mind to design its products. A board comprised of talented doctors from around the world. You deserve to be surrounded by people you trust and look up to. Empowered ambassadors that inspire wellness every day. Leaders who are rooting for you to be the best version of yourself. A community that works hard and plays hard. You deserve to experience adventures that take you around the world. And you deserve to be recognized for your hard work. It's time to get what you deserve. It's time to shift your focus. Three. Hello, hello. This is Jessica Johnston saying hello to everybody tonight. Thank you so much for joining us on our global call where we get to coach you and share our wisdom and our experience and hope that you can take some of this information and apply it and make it your own. So I'm so grateful that you all are spending this time with us all over the globe. It's so exciting to be able to use technology like this and communicate to 15 countries or more others that may listen in uh, as we continue to build this company called Three International. I'm really excited to be a part of it. And for those of you who haven't heard my story, I have uh, been with the company for about a year and a half. I saw this opportunity clear as day and was so excited to become a part of it. I have 12 years now of experience in the direct selling industry and I have completely fallen in love with this industry and I don't think I will ever do anything else. Uh, and I had a really, really successful run at my first company with 11 years. My family was able to earn a few million dollars in that opportunity and as some friends that I just loved and respected brought me the information about three and launching this new company with Daniel Piku and Kim Wee. Uh, I had to take a look at it and thank goodness I joined and I was able to transition for a while and left my other company after 11 years when I saw that three is the best around. It is the best. And uh, that company that I was with was going on 25 years and some things were changing and it was just really time to take all of that good, good stuff I learned in my first venture and to bring it here and apply it here to three. So I'm going to be sharing with you as, uh, I guess, credibility in the company, my team was able to push me to four-star director just recently. So I'm so honored and excited about that. And we know that three-star pro, three-star elite, four-star director, we know that those are titles that we only achieve because of our team. And so uh, just recently, the team helped us push that forward. And I'm very excited uh, to be here. So I've been building this business for about 12 months and uh, got really serious about a year ago. And, you know, I, I, I took a big leap of faith to be here because I, I love the compensation plan. I absolutely love our products because they're so state of the art. There's nothing else like them. They had a unique factor to them. 
Uh, but also, I flew to Salt Lake City, Utah before I made my official decision, and I spoke with Daniel Piku and met his wife, uh, Charity, and then also had the pleasure of seeing Kim Wee for the very first time. And she was everything. She was just everything that I thought was the best type of person to follow and to be coached and mentored by. And over the last three or four weeks, Kim has been messaging daily, encouraging, uh, pushing us, looking at some of our numbers and just making sure we really took off. So if I saw you at convention here in the United States, uh, Kim closed the event and challenged my teammate and I, Tracy Bonds, to run, 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 run. And so like so many of you, we left convention. We were so excited, completely on fire. How about the launch of Visage? Do you love it? I love how clear my skin is, uh, how soft my skin is, uh, and all of the results that we've been seeing, that energy, the fact that we sold out of Visage in 22 days. Good job, guys. Great job. Uh, I'd say we were pretty excited and we got those results really quickly. So you guys did a great job uh, with that and it's coming back in stock. So we're very excited about that. Uh, also, leaving convention, how about the power packs? So exciting, and I will tell you that that was definitely something that helped push, uh, push our team to four-star director, and then additionally, Tracy, my teammate who was also challenged to hustle, uh, she also earned four-star director, and I want to tell you that she did it in eight weeks. She did that in eight weeks. So, you know, it's possible for anyone to come in here and get excited and leverage the new product launch and leverage the power packs uh, and rolling a lot of founders. Now, Tracy was a customer of our products for 10 months. So while she was a customer, she had volume building and that enabled her for 10 months later when she chose to join us at three that enabled her to uh, get her initial team up and running again and then to go start building her other team. And she was able to achieve four-star director because she had all that great volume stored from while she was just being a customer. And she knew that while she was a customer, not to let her auto, her smart ships, her automatic reoccurring ships, she didn't want to let those go because she knew that she was accumulating volume just in case she was ever going to build this business. And so uh, leaving convention, I raced to four-star director. Ricky and Francoise Untermeyer and uh, Chris Hardy, who sponsored me in this organization, and also Kim, really pushing us uh, to get there. So we have been really excited, a lot of us, and we've seen a lot of growth in the company, which is so exciting. But I want to ask you guys, you know, what's on your mind now? What's on your mind now? We know that Visage is coming back. We know that this is the last week for Power Packs. This is it. Thank you, company. Thank you, Daniel, for extending the power up packs for us. They make such a difference. I'll tell you, we really got excited about those for the purpose of qualifying for the next incentive trip to Cabo or Vietnam. We are so excited about the type of volume that those power up packs are bringing in to qualify some of our people. So we have people that have only been in the company for five and six weeks that three of them that qualified for the incentive trip and they have they're here in the united states they've chosen to go to vietnam uh, on that trip so they did that in just five weeks and i know that power packs was a significant part of that so we're going to get into some of the ideas and strategies i have that i really want to excite you guys about through the end of the year we are in the fourth quarter I don't know how we're in the fourth quarter of 2024 and I do not want us to slow down. I'm not slowing down. It's too exciting. It's too fun. And remember, if you're a leader on this call, that it is our pace and our enthusiasm and our push and our drive that's going to pull the rest of the team and they're going to run with us and they're going to chase us. And so leaders, we get to set the tone for what we get to expect and what we will accomplish for the next quarter, the next three months of the year. So I want to think about this. What are we going to do now? So we've got one more quarter to go. I want to finish really, really strong. And I want to tell you that in my experience in 12 years, 
the fall months and the autumn months, September, October, November, they're very, very good months for network marketing production. People are, you know, the kids maybe have gone back to school and people are back into a little bit of a routine and now they have time for themselves to invest in this a little bit. Uh, also, I don't want to say it, but we've got to get ready for the holidays. We want to be feeling good. We want to be looking good for the holidays. And honestly, we want a little more money for the holidays, right? We don't want to go into debt celebrating with the people that we love during the holiday season. And so who doesn't want money? Who doesn't want to feel great, right? It's such a special time of the year and it's going to come fast. Uh, so I really want to get you guys in line with some of the things that we're thinking about and let me know if you're considering any of these things. You know, I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking about and how I want to continue to put this pressure into this company and this excitement and enthusiasm into the company and just some of the things that we've already started doing uh, because we know that we want to finish strong. We have a lot to accomplish. You know, I was talking to a team yesterday and I described this this moment, this time that we're in, in Three International as a time that we think of a big, 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 huge plane, a big plane on the runway at the airport. And this plane is massive and it's traveling around the world, but it's big and it's heavy. And it has, it's got work to do to get off of that runway. We, we, the people, us, we have to get that plane off the ground. We have to get off the ground. So we started with the plane way back on the runway, just sitting. And we have been pushing that plane forward and pushing that plane forward and pushing that plane forward so that eventually we can get that plane off the runway and we can get it sailing around the world. But it takes a lot of energy and push to get that thing going. And that's what we're still doing. We are still pushing to get this plane off the ground so that that plane can just fly, 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 fly. And we can start to find some really awesome momentum. This company is extremely strong. It's so strong. Looking at the numbers, what we've been doing, the way that you guys are engaging. This is such a healthy company. And so little by little, we're getting down that runway and I can't wait to experience when eventually this company goes into a really successful momentum and just a huge vertical growth. Uh, we're all gonna get to experience that, but it takes all of us. It takes all of us. And something I love about network marketing is that all of us can do our part and together is what is gonna make this thing fly. So I wanna talk to you about you know, some of the ideas I have to just, let's finish strong. Uh, and I want you to think about these. Maybe some of you are taking notes. So maybe some of you are writing these things down. And I would encourage you to do that. If you're not driving your car, hopefully you're somewhere safe. Uh, first thing I want to remind you of is I want you to ask yourself again, truly and deeply, why are you here? Why did you say yes to this company? Why did you say yes to this product line? Why did you say yes to the financial opportunity? And I know that a lot of us will say for our children or for uh, we need extra income or maybe we have some debt that we, you know, want to pay off or maybe we want to help our parents or our, our children. We have three teenagers. Maybe you have three teenagers like I do <laughs> that are very expensive. Uh, and some of us say we're here for this this sort of high level reason, but I want you tonight to dig a little deeper. And I want you to say, what is it beyond that? What is it beyond just the kids and the bills? What is it really that gets you up out of your bed every single day and it makes you want to talk to people? Maybe you just love serving. Maybe you just really want to help people and you get a lot of joy from helping people and the money comes secondary. Maybe you have a charity that's important to you. Maybe you want to adopt a child. You know, what are the really, really deep rooted reasons? I want you to really pull that to the surface for the, the remaining time in 2024. I want you to pull that reason to the surface. I'll share mine. I love, love my house. My home is so special to me. It was, it was purchased special for me and my daughters. We have been here for four years 
And when I left the other company, my paycheck went to zero. I had to start building over again. I had to start from scratch. And I did it with total integrity. And I started building a new team here. After 11 years of building another team, I started building a brand new team here. And the real reason that I get up every day and I want to talk to people every day about this opportunity is because I never want to have to leave this house. It's so special. I need to be able to afford it. And as long as I'm doing three and we're doing a great job, I'm going to be able to pay all my bills to stay in this house because of how special that is. And so that is really a deeper reason that I get excited. Now, I have a big heart for service. I love people. And I feel really blessed that I have experience in this and wisdom so that I can give it to you because I want you to be as successful as you can be in this company. And it gives us everything that we need to be successful. So the company has given us everything. Kim and her team and Samson, they've given us everything that we need to be successful. It's up to us. And that's what I want to talk about next. So find your why, pull it out and really get serious about it. Next, self-discipline. We are entrepreneurs. We own our own business. We basically own our own company within three for Dr. Dan Gubler. Thank you. Who creates these products for us. <laughs> thank you. He, he gives me this whole business that I can work with, but I own my business center. It's up to me what happens in that business center. And so we've been talking a lot about entrepreneurship. You own your own company. And what happens with that is you've got to pull out and dig deep for your self-discipline. Nobody else is gonna tell you what to do. Your team can inspire you. Your enrolling sponsor can inspire you and maybe push you and excite you, help you set goals, but it's really up to you. So what are you going to do for the next 100 days. I think there's 100 days left in the year, maybe 99. So think of this, if we have 100 days left, what are we gonna do for ourselves to grow our businesses? Why won't, could we just set a goal that you're gonna double in size? You're gonna double your income in the next 100 days. Just whatever that is for you, goal setting. What kind of goals do you want to uh, reach? Have you written down what you want your income to look like by December 31st? Maybe you've started the year saying, I want to earn this much this year. How close are you to hitting that goal? How much more do you have to go? Do the math, figure out what else you need. What else do you need to hit your income goal for the year? And write these things down. You have 100 days left to do it. So your goal setting, think about how many enrollments do you want to commit to? Wait till I tell you what I decided yesterday, two days ago. How many enrollments do you want to commit to? How many more founder packs are you going to have enrolled? How many people are you going to invite into this business opportunity as a founder of Three International? Put down a number. You want 20 more founders? You want 15? You want five more founders? Remember, that is a limited opportunity. We have got to act urgently if you want to enroll more founders in this company. We have to act urgently because they are going to be gone very soon, especially in the United States and Canada. We will not have another opportunity. So how many founders? How many? Forget the end of the year. What about the, the end of this week? How many power-up packs are you going to, uh, you know, help people earn and help people uh, order. Have you educated your team on the power packs? If you haven't, today is the day, tonight is the night. You want to educate, you gotta lock them up, honey. You want to educate your team on power packs, how important that volume is. It's immediate volume. It's later volume and uh, holdover volume for later on your team leg. Uh, and not to mention, you get all those products at a huge discount. Are you educating your team on power packs? The fact that it helps them earn the Cabo or Vietnam trip. Power up packs are so important and they put so much volume in the system. Uh, I've been encouraging the team to order a power up pack. Always buy power up volume if you have the opportunity to order power up volume. Always do that because these opportunities are rare. And then you're getting all those products at a discount. You can turn around and sell them at retail. Right, so you can make more money even after you have the power up pack. 
Okay, so I would use those. Is one of your goals, is it uh, to go to Cabo Vietnam? Is it to uh, earn the cash bonuses for the cash bonus promo? We have a whole new reset on the cash bonuses. Now, silly me, I was a three-star elite, so I didn't get to participate in the cash bonuses, but I was so excited for my team that I got to track their report and encourage them and excite them and show them how close they were to earning. So leaders, are you show, are you looking at your reports every day and are you showing your people how, many, how much more volume they need in order to achieve those cash bonuses? Uh, what, what of these things excites you? I want you to write one of those things down. What if it's merely a rank advance? If you are just looking to go one star, two star, three star, three star pro, three star elite, four star director, five star, maybe that's your goal till the end of the year. Is it a rank advance? So of all of those things, what excites you? What are you going to run for? You got, you got to have that, you got to have something in your GPS. Otherwise you don't, you're not going the right direction. You could go any kind of direction. You want to go directly in the direction to achieve what it is that you want. Pay attention to your Cabo reports. Pay attention to your rank advancement requirements. Pay attention to the cash bonuses. Use the promotions that the company gives us. There is a reason why they do it how they do it. Because if you are aiming for any of those incentives, it's teaching you how to build your business by achieving those incentives. So you're going to achieve those incentives and you're going to look back and you're going to realize that that was helping you build. That's the way the binary compensation plan works. And you know, the check match comes in handy too. Okay. So I want you to determine that dig deep for your why, what sort of self-discipline are you going to do? What are you going to hold yourself accountable for? I have some ideas. So I want you guys to set your goals, but I want you to be very intentional. Now, I put stars all over my notes because this is an important one. I think for most people, it's the hardest one. Being intentional. What is your roadmap to achieve the goal? After you write the goal, what are the instructions to get there? How much volume do you need to get there? How many on your left? How many on your right? How many founders? How many power up packs while they last and while founders last? So what is your action plan to achieve that goal? We want to have that very clear. Write it out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Remember, you're your own boss. No one's going to tell you what to do. So you want to be intentional. Can you set aside time on your calendar that you turn everything off and the only thing you do is work on recruiting and rolling i want to give you guys uh, an example of something we did through the month of august we did a recruiting blitz we call it a blitz that's like a boost we did a recruiting boost and we got the whole team really focused for the month of august on recruiting and we all set a goal for 30 days of how many people we wanted to enroll. And every day we talked about it. We held each other accountable. And we ran like crazy in that time frame to enroll as many people as we could and show as many people as we could that opportunity. During that month, we did 40 opportunity Zooms. 40 opportunity Zooms in 30 days. Do you have the discipline and the commitment to even do 30, 30 Zooms in 30 days. Blitzes, I love them. Take an idea or a concept, apply them to your team, and everybody goes together. So we did this recruiting blitz. For the fourth quarter, I found an accountability partner. She agreed to be my partner. And our goal for the remaining quarter of this year is to enroll 100 new people in 100 days. That is our goal. And so how are we going to get there? Here's the first step. We blocked two hours every day. Now, some of you don't have two hours. I understand. Okay. It depends on where you are. If you have another job, how many kids you have. We, for this type of aggressive goal, we block two hours a day strictly for recruiting. 
and bringing new people in and having new conversations. Two hours every day for the rest of the year so that we could enroll 100 people in 100 days. Here's part two of our strategy. We decided what we were going to reward ourselves with when we achieve that goal. And we picked out a really, really, really beautiful and expensive purse, <laughs> handbag, uh, for when we achieve that goal, we're going to go shopping together and we're going to buy ourselves a really expensive, beautiful purse that we uh, looked up together and decided we were going to do that. So I think it's important that you find time when you are being intentional, you find time to give something up. You're going to want to give something up in order to achieve this goal. And you're gonna to wanna to write down how you're gonna get there and it's important that you reward yourself. Think about how you're gonna reward yourself. That's another thing that we're gonna shoot for, okay? So recruiting blitz. Uh, one of the things I wanted to you know, talk to you guys about, when you're doing a recruiting blitz, I mean, one of the things that we were doing is obviously working together, but we did all these opportunity Zooms. And then we also started something called Work With Me Wednesday. Work With Me Wednesday, just a silly fun name. Everybody gets on the computer for 90 minutes, we get on a Zoom, we say hello, and then we get to work. We turn off our computer screens and we all sit behind our Zoom with our list of people that we wanna reach out to. We all put in the chat how many touches, how many reach outs we're gonna do in the 90 minute period. And we all put it in and then we get to work. We meet again five minutes to the end of the call. Now, that might sound silly to you, but it is the most productive I have been in a very long time because I'm sitting on the phone with other people on Zoom with accountability. I put my number out there and we get to work. We check the names off, we reach out, and we continue those conversations with the people that are interested. It makes us very, very intentional. Okay, so how many Zooms are you gonna do? How about starting Work With Me Wednesday and making sure that every week at a minimum, the team comes together and you sit and you go to work together for 90 minutes. Sometimes that's not long enough. You'll find that's not long enough. Most of the people keep working for another 30 minutes after because they're, once you get into reaching out to people, reaching out to people, reaching out to people, once you do that, you get, it just, it becomes fun and easy and it's a pattern and you just get into that, uh, that build there. So uh, I want to encourage you guys to really fill your pipeline as, as the way that, that we, we say it here. And what I mean by that, if you could just picture, you know, if you're going into a hotel or maybe even a store and you've seen the revolving doors, it's like just a big door that keeps spinning and you can just go in through the door and go into the hotel. I want you guys to think about all the people you're going to talk to. You're going to be putting them into this revolving door. I want you to fill up this big, huge revolving door with people all the people that you want to reach out to and help. And some of those people just stay in that revolving door and they stay in that revolving door and you continue to talk to them and see them and follow up with them. And then some people fall off the revolving door and they leave and that's okay. Okay. And then as you find new people and meet new people and do recruiting blitzes, you put more people inside that door. And when people are ready to get out of the revolving door, they're going to go into the hotel and they're going to say, yes, I'm ready to go. And so we want to keep, we call it our pipeline. We want to keep that revolving door full of people so that they're coming into the hotel and joining us and joining us and joining us, but keep that door full of people. You always want to have people that you can go back to and follow up with them. At the same time, I want you to move forward for the last quarter of the year more urgently and aggressively than you ever have in this profession. I want you to take the fourth quarter. I want you guys to help me get this plane off the ground. I'm doing everything I can. Our team is doing everything they can to get this plane off the ground. I need other leaders to come in here and rally their teams and let's just get this team off the, let's get this plane off the ground. Okay, so we want to keep people in that pipeline. We want to recruit urgently and guess what? Don't get stuck on anybody. 
Don't get stuck on anyone that doesn't have vision. They may not have it now, they may have it later. We're gonna put them in, we're gonna show them what we're doing. If they're not ready, they're not ready, it's time to move on, right? So we have a saying, Tracy Bonds taught me this saying. She has earned $13 million in this industry uh, and she's my accountability partner. And she taught us this saying that I've never heard before and I love it and I'm gonna give it to you guys. And then we're gonna close out with just a few more things. She said when she's talking, <laughs> In her recruiting, her mindset when she's recruiting is tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, I got to go. And I love that. Write it down. Tell me yes, tell me no, but tell me quick, I got to go. You got to keep going, 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 going. You want to find the people like you that love this and look forward to this and have vision for this and get excited about it. It's okay if you say no. If you say yes, let's go. But I'm going to the next person. I'm going, 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 going. So I want you guys to all really increase your recruiting for the next uh, 12 weeks, 100 days, let's say. Okay, uh, let me go to, uh, you know, one of the things that's important for us to know, what we did in August and July and June, all of the things and all the people that we were talking to and the effort that we were putting in and the self-discipline, those efforts are starting to show up now. There's almost like this, you know, we have to honor the process of the fact that it takes some people weeks or months to say yes to this. So the work that we do last month or the month before, it starts to show up now. So the work that we do now in September and maybe the first few weeks of October, that's going to start showing up for us in October, November, December. So remember, we always want to be in constant motion, having conversations uh, and recognize that what we do this week is going to show up maybe in two weeks or three weeks or two months. Maybe sometimes it takes people a year to say yes. That's okay too, because in the meantime, we're going to work with everybody else. Uh, I want to go back and settle with these blitzes I want to talk to you guys about. So we call them blitzes when we just, as a team, we just kind of push. We do them for about a week at a time because that's a good time frame for people to just really focus and set a goal. Consider doing a blitz. Why? These blitzes push volume. They push volume into the system. They push new enrollments. They create rank advancements. They create winners for the incentive trips. I got to go on that cruise. I said, I will never miss another uh, incentive trip with this company. It was a blast. We had so much fun. And uh, I'm so grateful to be able to, to, to experience Vietnam for the first time in my life, and hopefully not the last. But for the blitzes, here's some ideas. So we get our team together, we pick a topic and we run. Sometimes we do a rank advancement blitz. So everyone on the team who wants to participate, maybe it's, maybe it's 10 people, 30 people, 50 people, we say everyone's going to rank advance this week. Everyone's going to work really hard to rank advance this week. And maybe they send me their rank advancements. Or they get with a partner and say, okay, here's the rank advance. This is the volume that I need. Here's how many people I have to enroll on this side. Here's how many people here. Here's how many cycles I need. This is how much volume I'm going to need to achieve that next rank advance. So sometimes we just focus as a team on just that. Because if we're focused on rank advancing, we're growing our team. We're building our business. Uh, sometimes I do just for fun, highest enroller. Whoever earns, I've done this many times and I, I enjoy doing this. It's a reinvestment to my business. We will do a highest enroller for the week. So the person that enrolls the most number of people in a week period, I will help pay for their flight to the next event. So the next convention, let's say, or maybe a regional event. And so we make a little contest when we do this and say, Highest enroller, I'm going to help you play, I'm going to give you a travel credit toward your next trip for three. We love doing things like that. Uh, highest sales, what if you just track highest sales volume? Who's doing the highest in sales uh, in that week? And uh, how can you incentivize somebody, right, to do that? Maybe you incentivize whoever does the highest sales for that week. Maybe you put them on a coaching call with your upline somebody that's had a lot of success. Maybe they win a one hour coaching session 
with the upline member who's had success, right? Think of ways that you can incentivize winners. When we do these blitzes, again, they push volume into the system, they keep it really fun, uh, and everybody wins. Everybody wins because of this beautiful compensation plan. Everybody wins when we're pumping volume into the system, right? So that, that is just a, a, a fun way to do this kind of thing. What that also does, I've had the pleasure of living through momentum in other companies in network marketing, but also outside of network marketing and more traditional businesses. And momentum is fun. It is so much fun. It is wild. It is crazy. It is chaotic. But we train you guys now to use a system and use the tools. Make sure you're recruiting consistently. You're onboarding people and saying, okay, these are the WhatsApps I want you to be a part of. WhatsApp group. This is the Facebook page I want you to be a part of. Make sure you have um, message chats with your upline so that they're supported. Doing your connect calls, making sure you're looking for three-way validation, all the things. So momentum is a blast and we are building it together. We are the foundation of this company and you have some really aggressive leaders out here who know what it takes to get this plane off the ground and we're going to do all of it. We need your help. We need everybody to do it with us and then we all get to experience that momentous growth that we know that this company is going to have. We know Kim says it, a multi-billion dollar company. I believe that with every cell in my body, with every cell in my body that is full of eternal and revive, with every cell in my body, I feel that we're going to be a multi-billion dollar company. I just know it. You know why? Because I'm part of it and I'm growing a great team and I get this the opportunity to speak to all of you guys and just share so that you can take anything that I'm giving you and, and apply it yourself and be disciplined and put it in action. And then also reward yourself at the end of it for your hard work. And we are going to get to travel together and we are going to get to make a lot of money together. And we're going to be really healthy with beautiful skin together. Uh, and this is just the greatest place on earth. I just love this company. I have really enjoyed getting to know so many of you around the globe. I look forward to meeting more and more of you on the trips uh, at the conventions. And I have committed to coming on uh, an Asian tour next year. Uh, I have some people in Canada. I have some people in New Zealand even. I want to visit all of these people in my team. Uh, but I can't wait to even come to some of our Asian countries and just see all of you and work with you and celebrate with you. And also, you can teach me a few things. <laughs> you can teach me what you know. Uh, I would really love that too. So I want to thank you guys for giving me the floor tonight to coach you a little bit and excite you, but uh, jump on board with me and let's just run hard. Let's run hard and do this. Let's show Kim, let's show Samson, let's show Daniel Piku, and let's show all the top leaders how strong we are and that we are really uh, excited to be part of this truly a movement in network marketing. We are we're breaking all kinds of records, you guys, and we'll keep doing that. So thanks so much for joining me tonight. It was good to have all of you again, uh, and we'll see you soon. Take care.